Hello, how are you doing? I hope everyone's well. This is my first video back after my holiday. Not the first video I'm posting, but the first video I'm filming. So if I'm a little bit rusty, stick with me. Today we have an autumn haul. I haven't done like an order like this in such a long time, but I was actually so excited this year for autumn clothing. Like I think more than I've been in a long time. I've been wearing a lot of like white linens over the summer and blues and things like that. And I've just been really, really excited to get some like brown tones in my wardrobe this year. So mega excited to show you what I have coming up in this video. We've got some bits from Cos. We've got a mango or Order, like a whole the box I could fit in the mango box and then we've got an Arquette order and we've also got some other little bits as well which I'll kind of kick off with because otherwise I will probably forget them so firstly we have sorry by the way my hair's a bit of a mess today I woke up and it was a state so I just made it kind of like even more crazy and that we're just rolling with it and I kind of like it so I haven't worn it like this in a long time but just bear with me if I'm like fussing with it. I got these boots lots of you will have seen if you watch the vlogs already but if you haven't seen I will try and link them if they are still in stock but I I'm obsessed with these I love them so much very excited to alternate between these and my Stuart Wiseman black boots which are also like just under knee height which i wore so much last year or last like autumn winter but yeah i picked these up from john lewis of all places and they're super super comfy why did we ever stop with a round toe they're so comfortable and yeah i just love them i also think they're amazing because they've got like elasticated bits built into them so whether your calves are smaller or need a little bit more room you're good. So that was one of the first things that I picked up for this autumn winter and I'm loving them. They just look so good with just like a black skirt and a black knit. I'm just loving that. I also picked up a new belt. I got this one from Celine. I've seen this so much and this might feel like super basic at this point, but I just, I can't get it out of my brain. And I needed a new belt that was, I wanted some gold detailing. I didn't want anything too crazy so I was kind of like torn between this or the Loewe and this just happened to be in stock and it was in my size so I've gone for that and I went for I think it was like the 60 is it a 65 a 65 or a 70 so it's like perfect waist cinching level on me because most of my other belts sit more like lower down or I end up with a lot of like extra material in order to have like a waist belt and so for me a waist belt like a true waist belt very very necessary so that is another bit that i picked up just like a little accessory item for autumn winter that i'm hoping i'm gonna get so much wear out of i've actually built like a whole mood board around everything that i wanted to buy this is my like new thing that i'm trying out i don't buy things unless i can fit them into my mood board in with my current wardrobe and like actually see it first before i make the purchase so i feel just like a little bit more sure so let's hope the rest of this order is very successful because otherwise all of that mood boarding was for nothing let's get started with cos i've actually already opened up this cos order to check if everything fit and also to assess the trouser situation because i was doing a whole load of trouser taking up before i went away the gray trousers that i got from cos in my last come shopping with me i fully took up and they are now perfect length i'm wearing them today and they're just so nice like best fit best length they took up really nicely these ones that i have just picked up from cos they're slightly different they've got a whole like big double pleat so they really like exaggerate my kind of like hips and proportions but it's kind of cool it makes them more of a dressy trouser these if i take them up they only need taking up by like half an inch and when you're like hemming webbing stuff like wonder webbing stuff rather than taking them to a tailor it's it's gonna be a little bit bulky on the bottom so i'm actually not sure whether to just always wear these with a slight heel because then they're actually perfect length which on that note word of warning if you are taller these might actually be a little bit too short for you so i'd say if you're above average height you might want to see if they do them in like a longer length or something or size up so they sit lower down on the waist but i just think they are gorgeous either way i do wear a lot of heeled boots in the winter so these still even if i don't end up taking these up i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them i love them so much i also got this top which is like a really fine knit almost like slightly sheer brown long sleeve fitted 
jumper to wear with these trousers and I thought they would look so cool paired together with like gold jewelry especially if I've got some big like gold chunky bracelets that I can put on the sleeves and wear the sleeves quite long I just thought this would look so cool and a really nice alternative to like I wear that kind of outfit but I'll usually wear all black I thought this made a really nice autumnal twist on that so I'll show you this on now okay so this is the brown top and the brown trousers I absolutely love them together am I sweating yes but this is going to be so perfect for the autumn time you do need either like a just to go for it with this top and wear like a black like triangle bra or like a cool bra of some kind underneath and make it a thing or i have like stick on covers on right now or just some kind of invisible bra situation but i would either go like with a brown triangle bra or a balcony bra or whatever but make it the same tone so that it like fits in or go like black so it's a real statement maybe like a bandeau or go for something more invisible but i love the fit of it i love it with the trousers so much i've just popped on my brown boots under the trousers i don't envision wearing like a tan pair of boots at all but i do think something that isn't like super long in the toe and that has like a mid heel is actually really nice because the trousers almost like completely cover it and i really like that so maybe something in a in the same tone as the trousers and the top would be really nice i'll fi i'll figure it out at some point but i do think this will look really really cool with a pair of flats as well and then i also got a brown like full-on knit like a cashmere knit you guys will know i love the cross cashmere knit so i just bought one in black and i saw the brown and i was like mm, yeah okay we're gonna have to have this and it's actually been really nice for the summer to autumn transitional period we've just had like especially when i went to ibiza i wore my white linen trousers to the airport with like a brown corset style knitted top and then i had this over my shoulders but when i was on the plane i could fully put it on and the brown actually worked really beautifully with the white linen it's like a slightly off white linen and like a really natural tone so the two worked beautifully together so this has been a really nice like in between item for autumn winter i ripped this out of the bag as soon as i got it just before i went away i was like mm, yeah no this is not waiting for the video and i just i cannot recommend cosnets enough they are a little bit more expensive but they're just so lovely the quality is amazing and because they're cashmere they like keep you very warm and snuggly so i'll be getting a lot of wear out of them i actually got this one in a smaller size than my black one i got this in an extra small so it is a little bit more fitted because i knew i wanted to potentially wear it with my brown trousers as well so once the weather switches and i need like a slightly chunkier jumper i can wear this with the brown trousers and and this is the brown jumper. I absolutely love it, just like loosely tucked in. I think it is gorgeous. I just love how all the browns match up and it's just gorgeous. I can't wait to be able to wear this. Can I wait for the freezing cold weather? Yes, but I'll be a little bit happy because I can wear this. This is so nice. I just, I love, I love a dark brown. It's just such a nice alternative to wearing black all the time and as you guys know i love to wear black all the time but this is like a nice little switch up and then i also picked up this top which i love it's like a off shoulder kind of asymmetric almost like a not a jersey but it's like a it's like a stretchy material but it doesn't feel like cheap like a jersey material it feels like really thick quality and really lovely almost like a nylon but not the really artificial feel of a nylon if that makes sense but it's like very stretchy kind of looks like shirt material from afar but yeah it's like fitted off shoulder long sleeve and i thought this would look stunning just with a black pair of high-waisted wide leg trousers just like really really chic again lots of chunky gold jewelry very much my usual vibe so i'm super excited to try that on as well i will show you what that looks like on now Woo! this top is this is a sleigh i love it so this side is meant to sit higher on the shoulder and then this you can do whichever you like with this side it can go up a little bit higher if you want but I kind of like it just like that i think it's perfect it fits so well i'm wearing it with some black wide leg high waisted trousers and then my celine belt to cinch it in i actually 
think this would look lovely without a belt as well i just think it's gorgeous this is going to be such a nice one for like dinners out work kind of those work things where they're not super glam but it's not a casual thing i also think this would look really nice with a pair of black high-waisted maybe wide leg jeans for more of a smart casual dinner situation as well you can definitely swap the trousers out for a pair of jeans but i just really love this look it's just really gorgeous and tailored and smart but glam if you're one of those girls that loves like a nice top for a night out i think this is the top i've been looking for something like this everywhere and i haven't been able to find anything kind of in terms of like more of a mango h&m zara price point so yeah this was a little bit more expensive than i would normally go for but i just think i'm gonna get so much wear out of this in my wardrobe i have a knitted one that's similar and I wear it year in year out it's not always so appropriate unless it's like very very cold so this is the perfect kind of more all year round top I just love it I think it would look really beautiful with a pair of shorts in the summer as well for evenings out I think that would be gorgeous so I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this one just over the course of my life so it's one of those forever pieces so I don't mind spending a little bit more so those are the bits that I picked up from cos I had to really restrain myself with my cos order because that order was getting more and more expensive as I was going on and I, that was when the mood board kicked in and I had to rein myself in and really pick what I knew I was going to get a little wear of so I'm super happy with those items super excited to wear them over the next couple of months I'm going to move on to the mango order now the mango order has a couple of coats in it which is probably slightly premature because the weather in the UK is still like it can still be warm like in the middle of the day so I don't think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these for a little while but they were such good coats that I just couldn't pass up getting my hands on them and having at least a little try on of them oh I forgot one item that is from the mango order is actually the top that I'm wearing this is a just a really simple waistcoat most of mine that I own are halter neck and I really wanted a black one that wasn't halter neck and was still fitted but just didn't look as dressy and this one is just this fits the bill perfectly I love it with like a pair of trousers like I'm wearing now or with a black high-waisted mini skirt I love that look as well it looks particularly good with the brown boots so I am obsessed with this this came out of the box immediately as soon as I touched down from my Ibiza I was like what am I wearing today hmm yes gonna wear that but aside from that I haven't touched anything else in this mango order so we're gonna refresh my memory a little bit because i think i remember most things but we'll see oh stunning yes so i got another skirt this one is a little bit more low waisted and it's got a i don't know if you can see a wrap detail to it and i just loved it and my other skirt that i have is a lot more high waisted to the point where if i want to tuck something it just actually shortens the upper half of my body and makes it look quite unflattering so i'm really excited to have a slightly lower mini skirt to tuck things into i think this is going to be amazing i think it'll look really nice with my cashmere knits just with everything in my wardrobe i know i'm gonna get on very very well with this providing that it fits well i got it in a size small so fingers crossed it's gonna fit me well i'll show you what that looks like on with my waistcoat now so this is the skirt love it it's so nice it's also quite stretchy so you can defo size down if you wanted like a more fitted look i'm really happy with the size that i went for i'm happy with the way it can sit like it can do a little bit higher up but it can also be because it's stretchy be pulled down to be more low waisted if i want that love it and i think it looks so nice with the boots and my waistcoat i'm really really happy with this little look i really like wearing it a little bit lower as well so we just get a tiny bit of like waist but nothing crazy and the waistcoat dips down at the front which is really nice but i can also wear it a little bit higher up as well and have the meat so it looks it can look a little bit smarter as well Ooh. okay one of the things on my list for this autumn winter was a cream or white i didn't i didn't care which i really wasn't fussy but i needed like a really beautiful fine knit cream jumper of some kind mango delivered so they have this 100 percent cashmere knit in a kind of like ecru tone i got it in a size small i remember this being quite expensive but i just get so much wear out of like fine knit cashmere stuff in the winter so it's just always a good purchase for me will it be a good purchase with the amount of makeup that i wear <laughs> i think we all know the answer to that but i just thought it was so gorgeous and again would look really beautiful with my brown trousers even with like 
the grey ones I'm wearing today. I just, there's so many different items in my wardrobe that I can pair this with. It will look gorgeous with the skirt and it's just a really lovely versatile piece. It also looked great with my denim. I love my jeans. I can't wait to like get to the point where I need to wear my jeans again. And then also just with like loungewear and stuff. So it's just one of those pieces that's a little bit more expensive, but I can completely justify the price because I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. But yeah, it's a regular fit and I got it in a size small. I just wanted it to fit very like normally, no oversized fit or anything like that. Ideally, I'd be able to tuck it into things. So ideally it would be more on the fitted side for me personally, but we'll see how it fits. Okay, loving the cream cashmere knit. I think it looks so, so gorgeous with this skirt. Also wanna see what it looks like with the tan boots yes i am so happy with this it's so nice i will just get so much wear out of this again with everything that i've ordered i've tried to make sure it's pieces that i'll just get wear out of for the longest time and i love this look so much i also got shoes i've been so excited for these shoes this could be a mistake i mean we'll see but i have been very very excited about these these really remind me of the do you remember the ballet flats that you could like scrunch up and they'd fit in your bag when i look back that was a very practical shoe for a night out and i feel like i was just a little bit too young for that era and i'm really sad about that because i have ruined my feet over the years wearing my heels all night but anyway they're giving that era but they are the most gorgeous burgundy brown tone i just think they're stunning it's giving like mew mew but for a fraction of the price which i'm very happy about because <laughs> as we all know i now have a wedding to pay for so the budget is gonna be very much at the forefront of my mind in terms of trend pieces but i'm actually so excited to style these i think they're gonna look so gorgeous with the all brown outfit but also with a black skirt i think they'll look amazing so i just i don't know i've got high hopes for these i've actually worn my nude ballet flats a lot over the summer i wore them through the airport on the way to ibiza as well they were so comfortable they're also so easy if you want to switch your shoes to again throw them in your bag so i'm loving these will i love them in the peak of winter absolutely not but for this transitional period absolutely love them so let's pray for me that these are a vibe just to look at them i'm obsessed with them so yeah fingers crossed okay so i know we're not going to be able to see the shoes massively well but this is one of the reasons why I would love to take up these trousers because I just think that these flats, excuse my dog having a drink, stay hydrated babes. I just think that these trousers would look so nice with ballet flats in particular. So this is kind of why I'm toying with taking the trousers off and going to the trouble of having them like properly taken up because I just think that it would look amazing with these shoes. So let me know what you think. My only reservation is as we go into the winter, I tend to wear a heeled boot more and more and then I think in that case I would wish that I hadn't taken these up so maybe I will try hemming web and then I can just undo it when it gets to the winter what do we think I think that might be the solution here but I love these shoes is the point that I need to come circling back that is the point that I was trying to get to I just think they're so cool and I definitely think they look their best with trousers i love them i've put them on wearing a skirt and i think they're cool but i just think they are at their best when you pair them with a wide leg trouser oh i actually forgot i ordered this but i'm so glad that i did order this because i saw the prada version of this the other day being worn with a black satin skirt and i loved it so much that i was looking at the prada one completely forgot that this was in my order but it just goes to show that this is something that i am really gravitating towards this is like a quarter length sleeve it's not what is it it's not a three quarter length sleeve it's like a a long what do you what length is this like long t-shirt style a half sleeve let's go with half sleeve it's a half sleeve wool gray knit and it's just so gorgeous like i said prada have brought something out that's very very similar and this is a fraction of the price so i actually i can't wait I, i'm actually gonna have to style this up with the black midi skirt that wasn't how i envisioned i envisioned wearing it with the other skirts that's in this haul but i actually think it would look so nice now that i've seen it with a black midi skirt and oh maybe boots maybe some other shoes that are in this haul i don't know we'll see but i'm so excited to try this on i think it's gorgeous does anyone else do this when they try clothes on or like hold them up to themselves they have the hair has to be included and i think this will look so good tucked into like trousers and things like that as well like this pair of trousers mm, yes 
yes i love like a whole look that is like similar tones it doesn't have to be exactly matching but like a multi-tonal same tone kind of look loving the gray top i've just popped it on with my black silk midi skirt i think i need like a longer black midi skirt for an outfit like this but we're just gonna make it work i didn't love it because of the length of my midi skirt i didn't love it with the brown ballet flats however i do really like it with my knee high tan boots i think it still looks really nice and then we're kind of getting around the fact that the midi skirt is a little bit too short because i just think this length midi skirt does look quite nice with the taller boots so yeah loving this but also equally excited to try this knit on just with like high-waisted trousers and see what it looks like tucked in i think it will look lovely with my black trousers and also my gray cos trousers so we'll try that on now okay love 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 the gray knit with my gray trousers i can see myself wearing this so so much i also love it with the ballet flats as well there's something about it that doesn't look too workwear slash going to school but also if you do want some like cool workwear i actually think this would work really well but it just doesn't look too conventional or too corporate but i do think it can lean towards that without feeling that way and i just really really love it for that i think this is such a nice look a really nice one for meetings for me but this also would look amazing with my beige trainers as well in terms of wearing it more casually maybe with a leather jacket that's quite oversized that would look really nice as well i'm loving it i just think it's so nice and these trousers fit so well if you are a smaller girly and you have like a shorter torso like me i cannot recommend these enough they just make me look like i'm a normal like average heighted human being and i love that so yeah really really happy with this look okay as i mentioned there's another pair of shoes which are very much along the same lines as the other pair but these are more of a shoe in excuse the pun in terms of versatility so they're just a black ballet flat i know some people are going to really hate the ballet flats and i actually don't mind because each to their own here but i just find them very comfortable and a really nice alternative to when i would normally want to wear a trainer with my like smarter trousers but if there's like a, an occasion where they just don't fit also i'm just really excited to wear these with like midi skirts i just think they're gonna look so cool so yeah i got the black ballet flats and i just love them i just love them i can't wait to try them on one thing i'm gonna have to be careful of though is making sure that i don't look too much like i'm going to school when i wear them because this is legit what i would have worn to school that and the boots that celine have just brought out i will put a screenshot because i actually screenshotted this on screen there is one pair of boots that celine have brought out this season and i genuinely used to wear the like shoe shoe the brand version of those to school when i was 13 with a frilly rara skirt a strong look anyway i need to make sure i don't look like i'm going to school when i wear these okay guys the black ballet flats we need a close-up on them because I'm very sad to say that they're actually too small for me, so I'm gonna have to potentially swap these out for a smaller size. However, I do think the other mango shoes are just so much more comfortable that I'm tempted to see if I can find a similar style to those. They're sort of a lot less structured in a black color because these just don't feel as comfortable. I really do like the other ones more. So I'm either going to exchange these or just get a different style, but in black. Okay. We are on to the coats. So excited for this. Ooh. You know when the material just feels good. Like sometimes you order a coat from Mango or Zara or H&M and you get it and you're like, this is gonna be Lint Roller City. This actually, this feels really nice. So if anyone remembers the Zara issue that I had last year, we're not gonna speak on it for too long, but you'll know that I really wanted like an oversized long, black coat and i think mango have delivered that to us this year so i got this in a size extra small fingers crossed the sizing is going to be okay on me i didn't want it too fitted but it looked quite oversized so i sized down from what i would normally have hopefully that's not a mistake but yeah it just it looked so gorgeous and i was like i need i need to try that on i know the black is going to be perfect for my wardrobe but they also did this colour. 
it's stunning it is the most stunning like blonde tan color like it's like a biscuity color mm. it's beautiful so beautiful but i just didn't know how wearable this would be in my wardrobe because i wear so many different like, i wear gray and i wear tan and i wear black and i just didn't know if it would end up looking a little bit messy if this was my winter coat of choice whereas the black would just obviously it so well i wanted to try it both on and just see and know for sure so if you're looking for a wardrobe myc style coat but for a fraction of the price i really think you should check these out and i would move fast because i actually think they're gonna go pretty quickly give me your thoughts like honest thoughts i've just literally chucked the camel tan biscuity colored coat on over this brown top and then black skirt with my tan boots i'm not really sure like i haven't really got a particular this is where the problem is lying with this one i don't have a particular vision when i look at it and i think oh yeah can wear with xyz this is where i was like hmm, i don't know if the kind of biscuity toned one is actually for me however it's just so stunning that i had to, i just had to try it on it is beautiful if you love wearing this color I could not recommend this enough as your like winter, autumn winter coat. It's really gorgeous. It's not super, super thick and heavy. So if you are looking for something that's gonna keep you really warm all year round, this one, maybe if you're like a very cold person, this might not be enough for you. It's not particularly weighty, but for me, I love that because I really don't like wearing coats that are too heavy i just find i don't get the wear out of them year in year out and all throughout autumn winter so yeah i'm just I'm not sure but i think this would look so gorgeous i think they do like a matching scarf for it as well which i just think looks so chic it, it just looks unreal i didn't get it because obviously i don't know if i'm going to keep the coat but that would be the dream i think i might actually like a more cropped coat in this color i think i would probably get more wear out of it maybe oh, i don't know let me know what you think i'm gonna try the black one on now as well coat of my dreams yeah the biscuity toned one is automatically going back because this is what i wanted last year this is unreal the quality it's if i don't even know i don't actually i'm not a professional i don't know if it's good quality but the material feels so nice so soft it's not like that wool that you get from like zara and mango sometimes where you know it's going to be lint roller city and it's just not going to be an enjoyable coat to wear this is like soft it doesn't feel like it's it's probably going to get stuff stuck to it like it's black but it's not going to be as horrendous as the other like wool coats that often are on the market it is absolutely stunning i love the fit the fit is so nice like the shoulders sit perfectly where i hoped they would it looks so nice with my high-waisted trousers and just a nice fitted top and my trainers and that is like a go-to look for me throughout autumn winter i can't wait to wear this with like big scarves bundled up over the top and like hats and stuff and it will just equally look super nice whilst we're in warmer weather as well this would be really nice with like an all black outfit black skirt black boots that kind of thing underneath but equally would look so nice with like jeans chunky boots or trainers i i'm so happy with this i love it i hope you guys agree because i think i think this is it for me okay finally we have another coat I couldn't resist this one it just looked gorgeous and i wanted it last year and i was umming and ahhing about it and missed the boat on it and they had it in stock in my size so i took it as a sign Ooh. so being a shorter gal i actually really enjoy a shorter coat i do love a long coat but sometimes i just i think a shorter coat with some things like a skirt and boots for example can look really really beautiful also with like skinny jeans and a boot i think it looks lovely so i got this coat from Marquette and it has it's almost like not a cape style but it's got an interesting button situation let's just put it that way because I don't really know how to describe it but the buttons are almost like hidden but I think it looks really beautiful when people wear it just open and it's got quite a high neck on it i was really intrigued by it so we picked it up and i thought again it would look really gorgeous with like the brown trouser situation i actually really like a shorter coat on me when i'm wearing wide leg trousers because it kind of shows that there's some body under there if i wear a really long coat i just feel like sometimes i get a bit lost it depends on obviously the coat but i love wearing my black marge wrap coat with a pair of like long wide leg trousers i actually think it looks really chic very like the row olsen twins kind of vibe see so yeah, i'm really excited to see what this 
looks like fully styled up it's gorgeous like brown and black dog tooth hounds tooth coat and i can't wait to wear it there's like a pair of brown boots i just it's going to be giving like autumn main character in a rom-com movie and i'm really up for that oh my god this is gonna feel so snuggly in the depths of winter when i'm like on a dog walk i think it's really nice and it comes to a really good length as well like my skirt doesn't come down too much past it but it also doesn't look like i am not wearing anything under the coat i also think it looks really nice open as well yeah this is i think this is a yes for me let me know what you think i need to like look at it and style it up in a few ways but i think this is a yes for me so that's is everything that i've picked up for autumn so far i hope you enjoyed seeing everything and getting a little sneak peek into what i think i'm going to be wearing coat wise this winter as well also let me know if you want me to do my usual autumn winter coat haul and i will start working on that for you if that's something you would like to see please let me know but i hope you're all having a lovely day and i'll see you guys very very soon love you bye